remain standing for our first song, The Star Spangled Banner, performed by our concert choir and directed by Mr. Elliot Kranz. We will invite you to sit for our second song, Reaching Toward, written by 2017 Cedar Falls graduate, Brooke Prohaska. Gentlemen, please remove your caps.
Thank you to all family and friends for being here to support our graduates. It is an exciting time in their lives, and we are proud of them all. They are an outstanding representation of our community. It is my pleasure to introduce our student-selected faculty speaker, Mr. Chris Wood. Mr. Wood has made a significant impact on our building in a very short amount of time, and you can see this impact through a student-centered approach to serving students in our building. Mr. Wood has a unique ability to identify what a student needs and then connects them with the necessary resources to help them improve their situation. Mr. Wood embodies an educator who becomes invested in a school community at all levels. Actually, one of his many strengths is his ability to create community. From our school counseling office to the weight room to various athletic and activity arenas, our students benefit from his full commitment. Mr. Wood brings great passion and enthusiasm to our school and is driven to see every student walk across this stage having a plan for the next stage in their life and with them knowing they are prepared for that pathway. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Chris Wood to the podium. Thank you, Mr. Wedgbury. Cedar Falls High School, class of 2017. Thank you for the privilege of speaking to you this afternoon. I am humbled, honored, and grateful. So the million dollar question to these things is who's going to get up here and give the best life-changing, world-renowned words of wisdom for five minutes? Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but if we were to rewind to 2005, I'm fairly certain I would have been voted most unlikely to ever be giving a high school commencement speech. <laughs> Even more now, now as a faculty member. I found myself reflecting on the past 12 years, especially the spe specifically the last three years with all of you at Cedar Falls. There are actually a lot of things I would have done differently, like cut my shaggy hair, lose my highlights, Specifically, I want to spend a little bit of time talking with you about five things I wish I would have told the 18-year-old Chris Wood. Number one, learn to have confidence, because some days suck. In this world you're entering, there will be self-doubt. So much of it, in fact, that there will be times you'll want to do nothing but close the curtains and lay in bed all day. Life is hard. You already know this already because so many of you have faced obstacles and barriers in the last 18 years. But guess what? One day, one week, heck, even one year will not define you. The days that suck will knock you down and do everything you can to keep you there, but life is too short to focus on negativity. Number two, show compassion, be selfless, and never forget gratitude. Let me remind you of a few things. This is the graduating class of 2017, the class that over the course of three years combined to 45,000 pounds of food during the food drive. That's enough food to aid over 4,000 families. You all donated enough units of blood to impact nearly 600 human beings, 
and you raised over $6,500 during Dance Marathon for pediatric hospitals. The beautiful thing about compassion is it doesn't have to be about solutions. It's about giving as much love as you have to give. What I can tell you for sure is that people that are truly happy show compassion, they love a lot more, and they fear much less. When I was 18, I always wanted the next best thing. I focused on it so much, I didn't think that I would be happy until I got whatever it was. When I began to shift my focus to paying closer attention to the good things I do have and not the things that I lack, I quickly became a happier and better person. Number three, be present. You all know what I'm gonna say here. Believe me, I am as easily distracted as any one of you in here. But you're not kidding anyone, so stop kidding yourself. You can't text, snap, tweet, or even listen to music and truly be present in the moment. Losing yourself in your social media cycle, and you all know what I'm talking about. You start on your Snap stories, you roll over to Instagram, then to Twitter, and then right back to Snap. Put down the phone. Take out your earbuds. Hold true, meaningful, honest conversations. To paraphrase Covey, you will always learn more from listening with the intent to understand than you will from listening to reply. Number four, focus on your passion, not someone else's. As Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in this world, but it doesn't have to happen overnight. If you don't know exactly what your dream or your purpose is yet, it's okay. In fact, just a few short years ago, I thought I'd be a doctor, and then an elementary teacher, and then a businessman, and ended up a college admissions counselor who switched careers to work with all of you. The answers to your personal questions don't happen overnight. You will find passion and you will find purpose, but don't compare your timeline to someone else. This is your story. And number five, cultivate relationships. Both personally and professionally, Maya Angelou hit it spot on. It matters far more to people how you make them feel than what it is you actually know. The people that you surround yourself with will inevitably determine the type of person you become. After high school, many of you will meet new friends, some that will be the closest of your entire life, and you'll focus your time and your energy on those newfound relationships. You're going to grow fast in the next 12 months, but don't forget to make a genuine investment in the people who matter most to you. Take time to tell the people who mean the most how you feel about them, and don't let those relationships go stale. Secondly, family is delicate, and at times pretty challenging. You will make a lot of time for the new people in your life, but don't forget about those foundations of people. They have sacrificed to get you to where you are today. They will be beside you over the next chapter of your life, and they are so worth your time and commitment. They still remember changing your diapers, ducking you in at night, and singing you a lullaby. They probably gave you your first piece of advice, and I guarantee supported you through some of your roughest moments. Remember to answer the phone when they call. Text them back, and if they happen to use Snapchat, don't leave them open. As the graduating class of 2017, you find yourself on the edge. It's time for you to take a leap of faith. Find trust in those who you love most and get ready to take a risk and just do it. I've shared this with many of you in my office, but the caring, genuine human beings that you have all become weigh far more than the test scores and grades you have received. Cherish the memories that you have made be excited about the experiences that are in store. Class of 2017, I wish you all the best and brightest futures. Thank you.
This afternoon, it is my privilege to introduce a member of the graduating class as commencement speaker. Prior to that, I'd like to say congratulations to the 2017 graduates, their parents, family and friends, and attendants. Congratulations to each of you on this very special day. Each year, the student speaker for commencement is selected through a comprehensive process by a committee of faculty and student representatives. The selection of a graduating senior to speak at commencement is a tradition that dates back to 1966. This year, our student speaker is Katie Gray. She is the daughter of Glenn and Julie. She has an older sister, Sally, and an older brother, Thomas. Katie attended MacArthur Elementary and Lombardi Middle School in Green Bay, Wisconsin, Pete Junior High, and of course, the Cedar Falls High School. While in high school, Katie has excelled both in academics and activities. Examples of the activities include two years on the Student Senate, junior leadership, senior leadership, and volunteer work at New Aldea. Katie said some of her favorite memories while participating in high school were the dance marathon two years in a row, organizing Glow in the Dark Hide and Go Seek with co-founder co Maddie. After high school, Katie plans to attend Iowa State University and major in architecture. The title of Katie's speech is High School Is Not. It is my honor and privilege to introduce and ask everyone to welcome Katie Gray. Thank you so much, Dr. Petit, Mr. Conrad, Board of Education, Mr. Wedgbury, Dr. Dynas, Mr. Becker, Mr. Coonan, family and friends of the graduates, and thank you to my classmates for the opportunity to speak to you today. So the largest crowd I've ever spoken in front of was my sophomore year English class. I went up to recite a poem I was supposed to memorize. If any of you know me, you won't be surprised to hear that I did not attempt to memorize that speech or consider the fact that I was reading the poem on my grandfather's eulogy. You also won't be surprised to know that I burst into tears before getting past the second line. That was the only 100% I got in that class. So I'm hoping this goes better than that. Just a few things that Dr. Petit forgot to mention about me. I am not valedictorian. My GPA does not contain a four. I was not homecoming queen. I did not star in any sports. And I am not so good at writing speeches that don't exceed twice my allotted time length. <laughs> Over the course of developing this speech, I've come to find that there is nothing to be said up here that can sum up the experience that each and every one of the hundreds of us had here at Cedar Falls High School. Instead, I would like to touch just a little on what high school was not. High school was not romantic. It was not flirty smiles across the classroom or elegant weekends filled with glamour. Most of us did not meet the love of our life, but in that struggle, hopefully you learned to love yourself. I hope not having a date to your first homecoming taught you that dancing on your own is just as fun. I hope someone here learn to look in the mirror and love themselves, not only for their beauty, but for their flaws. For most of us, the friends we love today may not be lifelong. However, hopefully the experiences you had with your classmates, your awkward lab group or PE partner were so wonderfully uncomfortable and cringeworthy that you were able to realize that there is no such thing as a perfect relationship, not even close. Our antagonist may still be our enemy, and our sophomore year boyfriend may have had a peach fuzz mustache, 
but growing up with them taught us to work through difficult situations for a greater end goal. Taught us to accept the differences that make us human and taught us how to see the beauty in ourselves. High school was not romantic. High school was not our peak. We did not all go out every Friday night or learn how to master the balance between sleep, homework, a job, school, and even showering. But from those experiences, the lessons you have or haven't learned are what defined your progression as a student, a young adult. For me, I've learned that I am never again going to let someone eat, eat lunch alone on my watch. Because had it not been for the best group of friends a girl could ask for, I would have continued to eat alone in the physics room every day with only Mr. Baker talking to himself and Miss Reynolds' awful jokes to keep me company. I hope you have learned to accept the person you have become. Though that may be a completely different image than the person we've been in the past. Looking back, we may not remember the rhythmic pattern of Shakespeare's Macbeth or how to find the third derivative of a polynomial. However, let's remember the times we felt small the times we felt stupid, and the times we felt lost. Because those are the experiences in which we met the person we want to be for the rest of our lives. High school is not our peak. High school was nothing they said it would be. We didn't all walk away with 4.0 diplomas, but that B plus we got in great books was an accomplishment more rewarding than any 100% could ever compete with. If you're anything like me, high school was a never-ending process of trial and error, testing and retesting, crying in the handicapped stall of the bathroom across the hallway from the gym because you and I both know that that is the least populated bathroom during fourth period when the band hallway is too dangerous. We still don't know what we're good at. In fact, we have come to find that we are much more familiar with the things that we are just awful at. However, I hope you searched for the joy in trying. More so, I hope you found that there is triumph in failing, getting right back up to try again, no matter how stupid you look. Without those failures, we may never have found our best friend in the only other student still attempting to run the mile in gym class. We may never have found out that the people in our lives who accept us not despite but because of our failures, are the people we need to keep in our lives, hold on to with all of our strength as long as possible. High school was nothing they said it would be. I may never see some of you again, and you may never want to see me again. Our GPA is final. Our high school track record is set in stone. We failed, we succeeded, and we did it all without air conditioning. <laughs> After today, let's continue to take risks, fail, look stupid doing the things we love. After walking across this stage, let's never again aim for a role that doesn't excite us, inspire us, improve us. When you walk out of this center today, don't forget that at times, high school felt long, boring, even scary. Because had it not been for this embarrassing experience, 
none of us would have learned that we love to dance, that we excel at math, that our best singing voice is in the shower. Had it not been for high school, some of us may not have met our best friend for life, the person we want to marry, or the teacher who has become family. I hope you love the person walking across this stage this afternoon. And take some time to thank that person for who they are today. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. And now I would like to thank our school board members who are assisting today, board members Mr. Jeff Hassman and Mrs. Susie Hines. It is with great pride that I present the class of 2017 for graduation in recognition of the individual accomplishments in fulfilling the graduation requirements. I recommend the class of 2017 for Cedar Falls High School receive diplomas of recognition at this time. I would like to ask our guests to please refrain from excessive cheering, the use of air horns, air horns or other noisemakers, or coming onto the floor during this ceremony. The distractions make it difficult for other families and friends to hear their graduate's name and read, as well as maintaining the honor and dignity, dignity of this ceremony. Finally, once the ceremony is complete, graduates will meet on the upper level by the Dr. Katari Gallery in the no Upper North Concourse to pick up their actual diploma. We will now begin recognizing our graduates. Would the members of the class of 2017 please present themselves to receive their diplomas? Honored greeters include Mr. Chris Wood, Mr. Troy Becker, and Mr. Gary Coonan. Assisting with diplomas is Dr. Dana Dinas. Greeting the class of 2017 is Dr. Andy Patti, Superintendent of Schools, and Mr. Dan Conrad, Director of Secondary Education. Taryn Renee Ackerman. <laughs> Chloe Noel Adams. <laughs> Mason Lucas Adams. <laughs> Kayvon Akoff. <laughs> Jumana K. Alrabia. Ryan James Albaugh. Samantha Jean Alexander. Michelle Elizabeth Antone. Isabella Rose Areza. Isabel Angeline Armstrong. Addison Lee Asby. <laughs> Kayla Micah Batak Avila. <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Baker. <laughs> Daquan Antonio Baldwin. <laughs> Desiree Marie Bales. <laughs> Alexis Ray Balvance. Jared Latrell Banks. <laughs> Stefan Rafael Baronio. Joshua True Bartles. Emily Elizabeth Barth. Trevor Michael Bartz. Rebecca Lynn Bass. Timothy Edward Bass. 
Tristan Lee Bear. Taylor Nicole Becker. Porter William Beeland. Jacob M. Bender. Haley Ann Bermel. Hannah Marie Bermel. Anna Elizabeth Birdie. Kabir Batia. Clayton Scott Blake. Anna Elaine Blanford. Sundance Josie Lee Bach. Rebecca Rose Borhave. Bradley Lawrence Brandt. Shaquan Demarcus Bullock. Haley Nicole Burke. Abby Christine Buss. Bailey Elizabeth Boots. Katherine Campbell. Tyler James Campbell. Patrick Orlando Cannon, Jr. Rachel Thomas Carley. Zachary Aramis Pines Carr. And Gabrielle Caitlin Carr. Abigail Jean Rosemary Carlson. Sydney Dawn Carter. Asta Chandra. Anna Margaret Chestnut. Hope Helen Chestnut. Cassidy Ann Christopher. Samuel Andrew Serksena. Jenna Elizabeth Clark. Hayden Michael Clausen. Peyton Rebecca Clay. Blake Richard Coffey. Logan Alexander Cole. Briggs Christopher Collum. Allie Jane Conrad. Zachary Coonrat. Cameron Dwayne Corcoran. Leah Meredith Daly. Kiaja Capri Darumple. Sarah Ann Danielson. Dakota J. Doherty. Abigail Ji Hyung Dean. Savannah Jane DeGroat. Madison Ellen Dempster. Ellie Marie DeSalva. Mickey Joseph Devine. Lucas Allen DeWitt. Horia Alexandru DeBrilla. Courtney Paige Dobson. Trevor Allen Dolman. Katie Elizabeth Dolezal. Alex Kelly Doe. Alexis Morgan Dowden. John Robert Dunlop. 
John Matthew Dunning. Maxwell Alexander Dupree. Kayla Mackenzie Durbala. Anna Elizabeth Dvorak. Allison Ann Egan. Christian Egan. Benjamin Carl Eastman. Rachel Teresa Eastman. Jacob Allen Eckhoff. Alexis Nicole Ike. Kane Tyler Behrman. Jensen Lewis Farley. Claire Emily Fina. Kayla Darian Fink. Kyle Thomas Finnegan. Emily Ann Fischel. Tiffany Adrian Fix. Emma Ann Fletcher. Leah Shannon Forsbloom. Benjamin Scott Fox. Peyton Allen Fox. Antonio Trevon Frazier. Turner Lauren Fry. Henry Allen Hugh Gaff. Tyler Christopher Galloway. Regina Elise Galvez Rodriguez. Bo Montana Nuane Gama. Seb Ruxton Gerhardt. Nicholas James Galing. Samantha K. Giddings. Bailey Ann Gilbert. Wesley Joseph Gita. Dalton Vaughn Godfrey. Gabrielle Blue Gotera. Kiara Lee Graves. Justin Vincent Gray. Catherine Elizabeth Gray. Gracie Ann Gray. Christina Guevara. Diana Jean Gulager. Ellie Lauren Hahn. Olivia Ann Habing. Hunter Kinnan Hadlock. Alexis Nicole Hahn. Daniel James Hallivan. Jack Edward Hallivan. Caitlin Ray Halterman. Derek Christopher Hand. Karina Kazuko Hansen. Christian Paul Hansen. Nicholas John Hansen. Jordan Lee Hardy. Dylan Michael Hare. 
Lindsay Nicole Harriman. Emily Elizabeth Harder. Samida Hasic. Mike Sabrina Hasman. Tina K. Natasha Hasman. Katia Marguerite May Haugstead. Ethan William Hayes. Emma Grace Helvey. Holly Lynn Henriksen. Bryce Robert Hinders. Margaret May Hines. Tanner Jacob Holden. Nathan Paul Hoy. Sarah Michelle Hoy. Madison Elizabeth Hubanks. Javon Armani Hunt. David Husidich. Ami Ikanovich. William Bryce Isley. Alexandra Dominique Jackson. Kari Jackson. Sukena Jaffrey. Jacob Edward Jensen. Joshua Thomas Jensen. Callie Jane Johnson. Isaiah Michael Johnson. Riley Carolyn Johnson. Dalton Allen Johnston. Nicholas Edward Jonas. Diamond Randall Jones. Julie Ann Jorgensen. Carmen Alexis Juarez. Joshua Lucas Jewell. Aaron James Kmeyer. Jalen Rose Kelly. Deveris Deshaun Ketchins. Brianna Lynn Key. Samin Ishmam Khan. Vanessa Ann Khan. Grace Carol Quebec. Trevor Matthew Klein. Holly Mary Hen Close. Owen Taylor Clunder. Jessica Lynn Knox. Brennan Robert Coles. Lucas Colo. <laughs> Ivan Alexandrovich Kozlov. Daria Alexandrovna Kozlava. Mercedes Marie Krabo. John Oler Kramer. Matthew Reedy Kramer.
Dali Dari Cress. Allison Kaylee Lampy. Ashley Ten Ten Lee. Jared Paul Lee. Jordan Christopher Lee. Jacob Allen Lenskow. Colby Christian Lessman. Alexis Lynn Lewis. Tristan Kumar Lay. Maya Nicole Lindemann. Megan Locke. Luke Michael Losher. Albright Kasaya Lugalia. Megan May Lumetta. Abigail Jeanette Lund. Zoe Claire Mahoney. Kendra Nicole Mallon. Austin James Marchesani. Nicasio Andres Sanchez Martin Osk. Daniel Joseph Martinson. Elizabeth Rose Mason. Kylie Nicole Mast. Daniel Ray McCombs. Matthew Joseph McGough. Casey Lee McIntyre. Elizabeth Levon McRae. Louis M. McVeigh. Emma Rose Meyer. Matthew Ellery Mertz. Colin Andrew Meyer. David Charles Myers. Alexander Burgess Mong. Amanda Mariah Morales. Sierra Dominique Mori Fredrickson. Kate Elizabeth Motzko. Taryn James Mueller. Tanner J. Musman. Leal Nana. Joshua Brent Nelson. Mackenzie Ray Nichols. Alby Gilbert Nickel. Jacob William Nordman. Rachel Marie Ochoa. Caitlin Michaela O'Connor. Jenna Marie Oldani. Aaron Ray Olendike. Kaylee Lynn Olson. Addison John Pace. Madison Moline Palmersheim. Noelle Christine Patton. Haley Lynn Pence. Gabrielle James Penrith. Maya Christine Peel. Summer Catherine Peters. Bryce Andrew Pilcher. Chloe Paige Pilipchuk. 
Madison Jean Platt. Gabrielle Elizabeth Ann Plunkett Cruz. Sophia Louise Poe. Matthew Neil Hoppins. Megan Lynn Hoppins. Joshua Philip Post. Brooke Lee Prohaska. Samuel George Prophet. Aliyah Lynn Rabune. Ariane Therese Redding. Riley John Reed. Elizabeth Ann Ralph. Jaden Renee Robb. Mackenzie Elizabeth Roberts. Anna Marie Claire Robiski. Jesse A. Rodriguez. Miranda Jean Ropes. Carter Jason Russell. Catherine Kofer Rigg. Megan Lynn Sock. Kimberly Elaine Salmon. Trevor, Trevor Allen Sanders. Trevor, there's no mic. I'll go to the other one. <laughs> Trevor Allen Sanders. <laughs> Drew Christopher Sanis. <laughs> Syra Sumra Sarwar. <laughs> Madison Ivy Schaefer. Delaney Faith Schaffner. Samuel Benjamin Schillinger. Alyssa Margaret Schmidt. Samuel Charles Schmidt. Alexa Elizabeth Schmitz. Samuel Matthew Schmitz. Jaden Dakota Schrag. Blake Robert Sherman. Madison Jean Schulte. Connor James Schultz. Owen Ross Schubach. Lane Moore Schwickerath. <laughs> Mallory Rose Skirl. Rachel Leanne Sears. Sydney Elizabeth C. Tate Andrew Seichter. Karen Quan Sell. Taylor Marie Cernet. Lexi Marie Sheely. Allison Michelle Shelton. Henry Edward Shockley. Colin, Colin, Colin Matthew Schultz. Isaiah Lucas Sigler. Miranda Jean Simpson. Christopher Lee Slycord. Andrew Kenneth Smiley. 
Alexis Gabrielle Smith, Aaron Lee Smolt, Caitlin Elizabeth Solberg, Ryan James Soldwich, Jessica Sue Stabenow, Madison Lee Standing, Meredith Ann Standing, Carrie Sue Starbeck, Hannah Jane Stout, Isabel Blake Stefaner, Kaylee Marie Styers, Kirsten Joanne Stillman, Keegan Rose Stoltzer, Alima Joy Sula, Jessica Marie Sund, Michelle Joy Swartley, Sarah Jane Swatley, DeAndre Jossie Terry, Rita Tawolda, Nicole Alexandra Thompson, Zachary Dean Thompson, Joshua Stephen Tim, Matthew Allen Timmer, Taylor Thomas Chaden, Lauren Brooke Tweed, Ethan Hawker Vanderweel, Kayla Love Vanderwerf, Caitlin Lee Vaughn, Sarah Lillian Venom, Cole Douglas Volker, Maya Isabel Fisher Walter, Angel Reina Waltz, Hassan Kawar Warich, Noah Austin Waskow, Joshua Allen Wason, Zoe Lynn Waters, Brock J. Wiedenbacher, Emma Irene Weimerskirch, Olivia Rose Westemeyer, Lauren Elizabeth Williams, Andrea Janae Wilson, Blake T. Wolf, Noah Chauncey Wolf, Kelsey Lee Wren, Kevin Wu, Kirsten Emily Wyatt, Allison May Zerke, Spencer Charles Zipsy Burner.
Tyler Campbell and Justin Gray, senior honor leaders, will now step forward to direct the turning of the tassels. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you Cedar Falls High School graduates, the class of 2017.